Hello, my name is Natasha Ashgar and welcome to this very special episode of Talk of the Town. We're here today on New Year's Eve at the City Pavilion in Romford. We've got a huge turnout for the 007 themed ball tonight. An incredible line of performers, which include none other than Mumsy Stranger, H. Nami, Romy and many, many more. So I don't know what we're all doing standing outside, freezing our socks off. Let's go inside and see where all the fun's at. What kind of girl do you go for? I haven't got a type. What? Are you married? No. Single? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my interview, this is your interview. <laughs> I am delighted to be standing here with the Mayor of London, the man of the hour, Boris Johnson. Welcome to Be For You. How are you today? I'm in very great mood, thank you. I've just, I've just been at the fifth birthday party. Uh, you are over my bed. Really? Literally, you used to go to sleep with me at night. Really? <laughs> in poster form, that is, of course. Okay. Hey. <laughs> I am absolutely delighted to be standing with the boys from Punjabi Hit Squad. Welcome. Whoa. I know, guys. And can I just say, I want to make you very, very happy. Course, yeah. My co-presenter and I have been placing bets on the winners tonight. Okay. Guess who put money on you two? You did. I did. <laughs> I asked you a brief question inside about the ethnic minorities and how they can venture into becoming entrepreneurs in the future. Yeah. You mentioned that they can actively get in touch with your office. Is there any advice that you'd like to give them? Because you are a pioneer in putting the political system yourself. Stick with it. If I was a boxer, I'd have to fight him. I know, but then the afro kind of like, mm, you know, gives, it gives him a bit of an edge over you. He's probably heavier than me. Though. Well, let's put you on the weights and see how close you get to Muhammad Ali's career weight range. Now, I'm sure you're thinking by my surroundings, oh my goodness, has Natasha gone into the Big Brother house? I'm here to inform you that sadly, no, I'm not but I am in one of my favorite London attractions. Can you guess? I want to take it home. I know, that's exactly what I'd be saying to everyone. Let's take it, let's take it. Let's make a plan and just whisk it off to Northwest London. Do you think anyone would notice? No. Just do it. Would they? <laughs> no. <laughs> but without our thieving prospects, for the viewers at home, you're going to be launching your music career. Now, you have an incredible fan following on Facebook and Twitter, and you'll be launching into the music scene. What do we have to look forward to from you in the future? Well, definitely a lot of good music. Um, we're going to be releasing the single next year. We've got a great lineup of guests coming up in the show with some performances, as well as some meet and greets with the usual guests that are going to be here today for the amazing celebrations we've got lined up. I've asked um, many people here tonight, including John and Andy, their personal opinions. You're seen as one of the most successful, beautiful, well-renowned actresses in Bollywood, and you are an inspiration to many here within the UK. I asked someone yesterday if they knew the name of the Prime Minister of India. They didn't know, but they knew who Shilpa Shetty was. <laughs> so I'd like to ask you, for our viewers at home, what message would you like to give to young British Asians who aspire to become successful business people like, or business women, men like yourself? I'm now with two gorgeous ladies here at the Kites premiere. Hello ladies, what are your names? I'm Amrit. I'm Samira. And how are you finding the atmosphere here today at Leicester Square? It's amazing. It's just crazy how many people are lined up to see Ritik Russian. I think it's going to get packed. And I'm assuming you're one of those many? Yes. I left work early just to be here. <laughs> um, you're, if your boss is watching, she's here for a good reason, I promise. Okay? Favourite artist? Me. <laughs> Humility. Humility is not happening here today. No, but seriously, which artist do you love from the Asian scene? He's not only a Guinness World Record holder, but he has received numerous awards from all over the globe, including an MBE from the Queen. I am delighted to be interviewing the one, the only, Malkit Singh. Okay, and are there any other celebrities that you're looking forward to seeing? Because we've got James Khan coming, we've got the family coming, we've got Jaya here, we've got a couple of politicians coming tonight. Really? Yep. So is there anyone that you're really looking forward to? Raj, I must say, it's so light and it's a very unusual design. What's the inspiration for such a necklace? I'm standing with a man who needs no introduction. He's so well known. I'm sure you know him already. Mr. C.B. Patel, welcome to the show. How are you? Well, I'm so glad, especially you are interviewing me. I thought we'd start the show a little bit differently today. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've covered the Amers before. But yeah. I, I think we should have like a little competition this year. Bring it on. Bring it on. I like the way <laughs> she did that. I'm thrilled to be standing with a huge, huge, huge TV idol of mine, Nitin Ganatra, also known as Mass from EastEnders. Welcome to be for you. Oh, thank you very much. How are you finding the UK Amers tonight? Uh, it sounds exciting. It, there's a lot of buzz about it. I haven't actually gone in yet, so I'm going to go check it out. We did manage to grab you as soon as you literally walked through I the know, door. I just <laughs> walked in and, and I've been grabbed by a woman. What message would you like to pass on to my Beef Review viewers at home who are looking for true love, just like Jay? Uh, well, they have to, to get true love, you have to understand uh, how to give unconditional true love. Once you learn the art of love, you know. And have you learned that art, Prithik? Uh, yeah, it's a constant practice, but I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. Excellent. I'll ask Suzanne for a review on that one, but thank you very much. It was a pleasure to have you on the show. Three, two, one, go! The 
this lady is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to ask you to please vote for Natasha because I love her. She's great. Thank you, darling.